But have you any idea that maybe like Michael Johnson, there are things you can do, people you can become, and you don't even know it? I stand testimony to that. Had you told me 25, 30 years ago that this skinny, not neat, yes, I was skinny. <laughs> it's called deceptive garments. This skinny, not neat, buck teeth kid from Kingston, Jamaica, who left the country with 40 US dollars in his pocket. If you'd have told me that one day I would be standing on a stage in Pretoria, Chwani, South Africa, as a world champion of public speaking, I would not have believed you. And if I can do things like that, well, so can you. And to do that, you need to invest in yourself. I appreciate the daily messages, be kind to others, uplift others. I believe that, but sometimes you need to invest in yourself. You know why? You cannot give what you don't have. You cannot give what you don't have. And you have no idea what your best is. And the cool thing is, if you invest in yourself, your best will get better over time. If you let it. If you let it. Let me explain that thought. My first foray into the field of public speaking with Toastmasters was 1994. I entered the contest by accident with no plans to be there. Found myself in Louisville, Kentucky that August on stage as a finalist in the World Championships. Me, I could not believe it. When they announced third place, it wasn't me. Second place, it wasn't me. First place, it was Morgan MacArthur. Third, second wasn't me. I hadn't won the contest, but I had learned a lot. And that afternoon, I was with my wife and my children in a local mall, enjoying our last day in Louisville. And lo and behold, as we walked down the hallway, I saw a fellow contestant, someone like me, and also ran. I said, hey, what's up, man? How you doing? All right, good to see you. I said, wasn't that a great contest? He says, yeah, it was pretty tough, man. Had a good time, though. He said, it was all right. I said, look, it was so much fun. Can I see you next year? Will I see you back next year in San Diego? And his face did something like this. It <laughs> fell. His face fell, and he got very quiet and very serious. And he said to me, my wife and my children, he says, no. You won't see me next year in San Diego. It's six months of your life. It's too much work. I will not be back. I said, OK, man. Take care of yourself. All right, bro. <laughs> he left. I won't be back, he said. I'd done my best. I fell short. But guess what? I had done my best in 94. I had fallen short. But who was the only finalist in 94 to go back in 95 and walk away with a world championship of public speaking? Because I went back. I tried again. I realized even though I'd done my best that day in 94, my best could get better over time if I allowed it. He didn't. Think of your own lives, my friends. How many times have you done your best? You've come to the very end of your rope. You did not achieve the goal you set out to achieve, and you quit. And that goal dream you set so many months or maybe years ago has lain dormant within you. Some of us say, well, Mr. Brown, <laughs> I've done my time, man. <laughs> I'm retiree now. I'm on a pension. I can't do anything else now. I'm, I'm done, man. I say no. I learned that from a singer, a Christian singer in the States named Larnell Harris, been around for a long time. And he sang a song called, I Can Begin Again. And the chorus says this, I can begin again with the passion of a child. My heart has caught a vision of a life that's still worthwhile. I can reach out again far beyond what I have done, like a dreamer who's awakened to a life that is yet to come. For new beginnings are not just for the young, New beginnings are not just for the young. We can all improve. We can all grow if we choose to invest in ourselves and realize that our best will get better over time if we let it. But see, we can't always see that. Because of our own perspective, we are blocked. But sometimes there's those around us who see in us what we do not see in ourselves. 